A Franklin County man has agreed to help prosecutors in the case against a former constable accused of running a prostitution ring. A research team from the University of Kentucky has been approved by the FAA to fly drones across the country. The EPA rolling out new labels on environmentally safer cleaning products. This is WQIT News at 530. Good evening to you. We are learning some new details in the case against a former Franklin County constable accused of operating a prostitution ring. Thomas Banta has been charged with running the money for sex operation. Banta was not in court today, but his co-defendant Dre Valentine was, where he agreed to a plea deal to testify against Banta. Monique Blair has the latest on the case in our top story at 530. Kendra Valentine was offered a plea deal because he agreed to help the prosecution with their case against his former boss, 67-year-old Thomas Banta. Valentine accepted that plea deal. We obtained these court documents that detail some of the alleged prostitution ring Banta was running. They say after a girl applied for a job at Banta's security and investigation company, he solicited her to engage in prostitution. The documents go on to say Banta told her that he had, quote, upscale men who were married but wanted some excitement on the side, end quote. He described them as legislators and police officers. The documents say that one of Banta's female employees at his security company told officers that as a condition of her employment, she was required to have sex with Banta before he would introduce her to other men. Today, Banta's attorney said it is unfair to Banta the amount of information that has already become public record. Ultimately, the issue is the credibility of these witnesses. So, uh, you know, what, what they say or who, who these people are and what they may say, uh, you know, is right now just them talking. I mean, it'll be put to the test at the appropriate time. According to the documents, a man who said he was one of Banta's clients said the 67-year-old set him up with a number of different prostitutes from 2010 until 2015. Banta served as a Franklin County constable for three of those years. An acquittal will clear his name, and that's what we're counting on. In Frankfurt, Monique Blair, WKYT. Court papers do not name any lawmakers or officers who were involved in the alleged prostitution ring. No doubt about it, it's a hot and humid day here in the Bluegrass. And while most folks are getting ready for the Memorial Day weekend, you may want to include some rain plans just in case. Here with an early look at your weekend forecast is meteorologist Jim Caldwell. And we will have those rain chances around, guys. Scattered showers and storms for the most part, but we will certainly be tracking them in our area. Our Memorial Day weekend will be pretty active with the heat, humidity, and with the storm chances. I don't think on any one of these days that we're going to be just sucked in with rain. It's not going to be a complete washout by any means, but you will have to deal with the occasional shower or thunderstorm. Tropical air will hang out all weekend long as we'll likely see our temperatures, as you see there, 83, 84. The wind, the heat index probably feels more like 86, 87, maybe a little bit warmer in some cases. Right now, we're tracking plenty of activity for folks that are getting a head start on the weekend travels. Uh, maybe they're heading out here this evening. Well, some showers and storms have been showing up across parts of southern and eastern Kentucky along the Mountain Parkway. Seeing some of that rain there in Sigersville, not quite as heavy as it was a little bit earlier. How about the folks there in northern parts of Perry County and over into Breathen along one of the active roads there? Uh, Highway 15 tracking some heavier rain. And a final stop on this radar tour showing you I 75 there between uh, Williamsburg and close to the uh, Kentucky Tennessee state line. There's another little shower trying to come up as well. So plenty of activity out there for folks with the rain department here this evening. We're going to wrap those chances up late tonight, but they're back all weekend. We will break it down coming up in just a few minutes. A Moorhead State University police officer is improving after suffering a serious head injury from a motorcycle accident. According to the Moorhead News, Sergeant Anthony Dalton of Menifee County is now responding to doctors. Dalton was in the hospital, has, is still in the hospital after losing control of his bike on Monday morning. He had been listed in critical condition as recently as yesterday. The accident remains under investigation by the Moorhead Police Department. 
A woman was charged today in connection to a murder two years after the crime. Our county by county coverage at 5:30 begins in Bullock County. Teresa Walker is accused of shooting and killing Donald Hagan in 2014 and then driving him to a liquor store. Hagan's body was found in that store's parking lot. Walker didn't say anything during her video arraignment this morning. Her father was in the courtroom and says he is surprised his daughter has been charged in the case. Meanwhile, the victim's sister says she just wants answers. I personally don't believe that she's guilty, but I wasn't there. So I can't say yes or no. But there's a lot of people that say she's guilty, and I wonder how they know because they weren't there either. If this is the person that did this to my brother, he does deserve justice. He hasn't been able to rest in a year and a half. I don't have closure. I have not been able to grieve for my brother. Along with murder, Walker also faces drug charges. Detectives have not said if any more arrests are expected. In Madison County, a man is facing charges after a complaint about drug activity leads to his arrest. The Madison County Sheriff's Office says they went to a home on East Haytai Road in Berea where Christopher Jones tried to run from them. Deputies quickly caught him and say they found 356 grams of synthetic drugs on him along with meth and drug paraphernalia. He's charged with drug trafficking and possession. Murdered coal executive Bennett Hatfield will be buried this weekend in West Virginia. The 59 year old will be buried at the same cemetery where he was found dead Monday. Police say that two men charged in Hatfield's death wanted to steal his vehicle and sell it. Authorities say Hatfield was visiting his wife's gravesite at the graveyard when he was shot and killed. His SUV was found nearby. Elvis Presley has one, so does Bill Clinton, but Governor Matt Bevin wants to review what it takes to be a Kentucky colonel. He is temporarily stopping issuing of colonel commissions so he can review the requirements to review the honor, receive the honorary title. Kentucky colonels date back to the early 19th century when Kentucky had a volunteer militia. Today, the title is a ceremonial one that governors often bestow to honor a person's good deeds or service. At least 85,000 people have received the title of a Kentucky colonel. Researchers at the University of Kentucky are among the first in this country to be allowed to fly drones anywhere in the United States for their experiments. The team was given permission to use the drones earlier this month by the Federal Aviation Administration. WKYT's Mike Linden talked to researchers about what the new rules mean in a story that's new at 5:30. Three, two, one, go! At the UK research farm in Woodford County, a team of students use drones to conduct research. But we're not interested in uh, vehicles themselves, but we're interested in what we can do with them as, for, in the, for the sake of science. While the drones the team are using can be purchased by anybody and used for recreational use, these particular models have been slightly modified to allow the team to conduct their research. If you look inside, this model has had an autopilot installed in it. It used to be a long process to get approval from the FAA to fly a drone, anywhere from three to nine months. Now, the team is allowed to fly anywhere under FAA regulations thanks to a certificate of authorization, a first for higher education in the state. Well, it makes it a lot easier for us to do research now. So up to this point, we were kind of just testing things out, but we were limited in terms of our ability to fly. Now we can actually go out and, and collect data on a seasonal basis. Team leaders say the drones can be used for many different applications. They say it could even help to lower food costs in the future. You know, this is one way that we're going to be able to grow more food on the same amount of land using less resources by, by managing them at a very uh, precise level. With the training wheels off, the sky's the limit for the research team. The future is, is limitless, really, with these things. It's just up to people's imaginations. In Woodford County, Mike Linden, WKYT. And the team is heading to Oklahoma next month to research storm cells. Columbia Gas wants to raise rates. It asked the Kentucky Public Service Commission today for an increase. For the average family, the price hike would be $11.35 a month. For a business, it would be about $37.32. Columbia Gas says it needs the increase to improve safety and its aging infrastructure. Its last increase was in 2013. Well, be on the lookout for it when you have a new choice to go when, do, go when you go shopping. The Environmental Protection Agency unveiled a new label that will be placed on cleaning products that are supposed to be less harmful to the environment and people. 
A trip down the household cleaning aisle reveals an array of fragrances and chemicals. So how do you know which ones are safe? Products that don't contain a lot of harsh chemicals. Packaging actually sometimes also influences me. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is changing that packaging. The EPA just unveiled a new federal label for cleaning products called Safer Choice to help consumers determine which products are using the safest ingredients. We're giving them information about what they can use on the basis of EPA science that tells them it's safer. EPA Administrator Gina McCarthy says there are currently more than 2,000 products that qualify for the new Safer Choice label. Companies voluntarily submit products for consideration, and McCarthy says the EPA examines the ingredients so consumers don't have to. It's about being able to go to the supermarket and buy products that you can easily see are the safer choice for you. And figuring out exactly what is in your products isn't as easy as checking the bottle. The Environmental Working Group recently reviewed 400 products, and nearly half received a poor rating for transparency of ingredients. The EPA has little power to remove hazardous chemicals already in the marketplace. So by alerting customers to products that don't contain them, the agency can influence what goes into the products by changing demand. I think it'll make it a lot easier to find kind of uh, products that are healthy for me and my family. The Safer Choice label is already on some products. More are expected to hit store shelves in the coming months. Part of Lexington's Main Street will see some major redevelopment. That story in six minutes on WKYT. I'm Bill Bryant. Kentucky's tourism industry bringing in billions of dollars as people come to see our people, our places, and our history. A preview of Kentucky newsmakers coming up on the bottom line. I'm Victor Puente in Lexington, where two men charged with killing a Marine outside of a Lexington bar now have a trial date. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you when it's expected to start. For all your hearth and grill needs, shop BarnhillChimney.com. Q50 holding short runway 19 or right. Q50, do you copy? 200 horsepower Q50 from Infinity. Experience the Infinity Q50 at your local Infinity retailer. What's well, new Sonic Lemonade's great, huh? Strawberry, blue raspberry. I can't believe they set that lemonade stand up right across the street. Who is? Oh, she saw me. Great. Why does that matter? Because I'm scoping out the competition for Sonic. Those cute little kids selling lemonade. What's oh, the big deal? Real cute until they take your lemonade stand by force. That was your lemonade stand? Yeah, feels like yesterday they did it. What did it happen? Yesterday. Iced or frozen, our ultimate lemonades can't be beat. Also, get half price shakes after 8 p.m. and a free slush when you download the new Sonic app. We all know that Kentucky Kingdom has thrilling rides, like Storm Chaser, the park's fifth roller coaster. But what's equally thrilling is the price of a season pass, only $59.95. Just $10 more than a one day ticket. And that's before benefits like free parking, $1 drinks, and other discounts. Visit KentuckyKingdom.com or your local Kroger. But hurry, offer ends soon. And remember, a season pass pays for itself in just one visit. Enjoy the rest of the summer free. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. No way, it's oh, a Chevy. Wow. It's the Chevy Memorial Day Sale. Time to get the crossover that's right for you. Trax, Equinox, or Traverse. It's very impressive. It's awesome. This is incredible. It'll be a good road trip car. The Wi-Fi is cool. It's fancy. I love it. Get more than you expect for less than you imagine during the Chevy Memorial Day Sale. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Equinox LT for around $189 a month. Oh my gosh, I need this car. 
Lexington. Save thousands at the Aegean Hot Tub and Swim Spa Memorial Day Liquidation Expo. This weekend only at the Lexington Center. We take in delivery of truckloads of factory overstock swim spots and everything must be sold by Monday. All overstock inventory will be liquidated at up to 60% below retail. Swim and relax year-round in your very own heated swim spa. Free delivery and cover system included. Installs in just one day. Plus, trade in that old hot tub and receive free removal and delivery of your new spa. All deals first come, first serve. Friday through Monday only at the Lexington Center. As we head into the summer, the head of tourism in Kentucky says there is room for growth in the state. And Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell releasing his autobiography. Bill Bryan has more in today's bottom line. Good evening. Tourism is an increasingly important part of Kentucky's economy, and there is enormous potential for more growth. That's the word from Kentucky Travel Development Commissioner Kristen Branscombe. We visit with her on this Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial kickoff to the summer vacation season. She says Kentucky's tourism numbers look encouraging. Tourism is a $13.7 billion industry to Kentucky. Now, it can be said, you know, we're a uh, service-oriented market, so it's a little bit hard to compare to widgets or cars. But uh, we think that we're in the third, we're the third biggest industry in Kentucky behind automobiles and health care. So uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, it does a lot for our, our communities, big and small. We talk about how Kentucky invests its tourism marketing money and where most of our visitors come from. Also, we'll talk with a former member of the British Parliament as he tours Kentucky this week. We'll get his take on U.S. politics from across the pond. Kentucky Newsmakers runs Sunday morning at 6 on WKYT and it repeats Sunday at 10 a.m. on the CW Lexington. Set your DVR or catch it then. Kentucky's longest serving U.S. Senator ever is Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and he'll be featured on CBS Sunday morning coming up as McConnell is releasing an autobiography. He talks about growing up and battling Polio and about many of his trusted staff members over the years, and about his wife, former Labor Secretary Elaine Chow. The book is being released nationally. The Long Game also looks back at the 2014 election when McConnell defeated now Governor Matt Bevin in the Republican primary and Kentucky Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes in that fall campaign. As we first reported on WKYT News at noon, Governor Bevin announced today that Kentucky will be joining the lawsuit challenging. Challenging the Obama administration's directive on transgender bathroom policy. We'll have much more on that coming up on air and online. Bill Bryant, WKYT. The east end of Lexington's Main Street in Lexington is about to see a major redevelopment, including a new upscale restaurant. Now, according to our news partners at the Herald Leader, Carson's Food and Drink will go into 362 East Main Street. That's the former home of Coach Craft. Carson's developer told reporters that a building permit is expected to be filed Tuesday for the $1.3 million project. It will include a 5,000 square foot restaurant and bar plus a patio on Main Street. Now, your hour by hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. A little heat, humidity, and some showers and thunderstorms have been showing up across most of uh, eastern Kentucky. That's where the thunderstorms are. Here in central Kentucky, it's been more of a mix of sun and clouds through the day. Right now, we can see some of those locations here in Lexington. You've got London. And then look at Jackson. Off in the distance here, we're tracking a good little shower, heavy downpour that's closing in on the folks at the National Weather Service. That's where we get this uh, image from. So, got some rain well off to the south, and you can see that as well as it's starting to uh, bear toward them. Showers, even a few little flashes of lightning have been associated with this particular little batch as it's been moving uh, from parts of Perry County, now lifting toward the north. There you see all of it action-packed to the south and east with scattered showers and thunderstorms. This will be a same kind of setup as we head into your Saturday and Sunday. We'll see rounds of showers and thunderstorms look like this. Maybe a little more widespread from time to time, but again, not a complete washout all weekend. Let's go cruising down in across uh, parts of Wayne County. You've got some heavier rain. You've got a little rain also closing in on Lake Cumberland as well. Good little shower, good heavy rainmaker really now in position over Williamsburg. We move back toward the uh, north and east, Sigersville. This has been one we've been tracking for a while. 
It's still hanging out with you, but it's a lot less heavy. We're lightening things up quite a bit. Let's break it down here as we head through Memorial Day weekend. Tropical air will linger with more storm chances into your Saturday. Sunday, more scattered showers and thunderstorms. Very warm and humid. And then you've got another tropical day coming at us on Monday. But I think this is our best chance to stay dry as rain chances are a little bit less around the area. Hour by hour forecast shows rain lifting, maybe even into central Kentucky here by around 7, 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Clear for the overnight hours, and then we'll ramp up our chances for showers and thunderstorms again during the afternoon and evening tomorrow. Don't get too caught up in that because it's mainly the scattered stuff that we're going to be tracking across parts of the area. Here's your seven day forecast as we move forward. We're looking at those rain chances across the board, guys. Again, not any day here is a washout, and that includes the, the holiday weekend. So get out and do what you need to do, and then go back in when it rains because it won't last forever. Yeah, just keep that in the back of your head, have maybe an alternate plan, and then go about your business, right? But it's not one you have to live for the entire yep. time. Keep that in mind, too. Good deal. Thanks, Jim. Police are working a collision at New Circle and Russell Cave. That is a two-car crash. Also in a New Circle and Woodhill. No one's hurt in that wreck. Cleared the problem inbound Nicholasville at Tiverton. Drive times, the interstate looks okay. A little more crowded across this I-75 bridge and over toward 64 toward Frankfurt. But to Nicholasville, normal drive time, same to Versailles. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Don. Up next, we'll hear more from one of Matthew Mitchell's new assistants. Helen Dunn talking specifically about what she'll be doing as she joins the UK program. And a high honor for a Wildcat he will get to represent his country this summer. Stay with us. Sports is next. No one knows what's gotten into the heads of our leaders. Anarchy, democracy. But this summer... You think we can save the country? We can try. One epic television event... My husband, Randall, he's not who he was. People are staring at us. ...will give you a clue. Bugs are eating people's brains. What? From the creators of The Good Wife comes a political thriller with a twist. <laughs> Something weird is going on. Brain Dead premieres Monday, June 13th. Get the credit approval you deserve at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Nicholasville. If you have a job at $199, you can be approved today. During the Drive and Discover event 2016, Jeep Cherokee's $199 a month. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. I roll my eyes like a lizard. A monkey would envy my tail. My wings want to fly but swim instead. I'm a fish with a horse's head. You can see me in all my glory. Touch me and learn my story. In a world of wonder. Discover the zany world of seahorses at the most interactive seahorse exhibit in the country. Visit the brand new Seahorses Unbridled Fun and see, touch, explore together at Newport Aquarium. I'm a seahorse and so much more. The Memorial Day sale is happening now at Sleep Outfitters. Enjoy 0% financing for six years and savings up to $600 on the best brands in bedding, including Visa prepaid gift cards up to $400 on select Tempur-Pedic purchases. Get this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam on sale for just $4.99, plus a free TV. 0% for six years, free TVs, free gift cards, and free upgrades. It's all happening now during the Memorial Day sale at Sleep Outfitters. All across America, families are coming back to Time Warner Cable for a whole new experience. We came back for internet speed so fast, even the kids are impressed. Oh, she's impressed. We're catching up on movies and shows on demand just as fast as we can watch them. TWC's home Wi-Fi is so strong, we can use all our devices at the same time. Come back today. You'll get 100 meg internet, TV, phone, and more for $89.99 a month. And ask how you could get a $300 reward card. Call now. Any beverage connoisseur will tell you that real Kentucky bourbon has an excellent mouthfeel. Well, consider this beverage connoisseur. What kind of mouth feelings would happen if Arby's made sauce with real Kentucky bourbon and put it on brown sugar bacon? Hmm? How would your mouth feel about that? Hmm? Your mouth feel pretty good? Arby's, we have the meat. We always ask on every story, is it right, is it fair, is it honest? That's when we know we can report the facts. The CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. Save thousands at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Nicholasville, where you get 25% off MSRP on all the remaining new 2015s in stock. That's up to $14,000 off MSRP. Make the short drive to Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today. 
Get WKYT news and weather updates on Rewind 105.5. UK first baseman Evan White will represent the United States in July when the National Collegiate Baseball team plays against international competition. White accepting an invitation to play for USA Baseball's college national team. The team will practice out in Southern California in late June before heading to Taiwan, Japan, and Cuba later this summer. So it should be quite an experience. White led the Cats with a 376 average and was second team all SEC. White and his team Mates continue to wait and wonder if their season will continue in the NCAA tournament. The Cats have been waiting since Tuesday after losing to Alabama in the SEC tournament. Kentucky continues to practice and plan for a regional, not knowing if they'll make it. It's not been easy. I mean, it's going to be tough for sure. You know, we got two inner squads, I think, this week, so we'll see kind of what the mood is when everybody gets out here. But I know a lot of guys are. Really hoping for this regional, and a lot of guys are motivated. So if we get in the regional, we're gonna make some noise for sure. Uh, you know, we're definitely hoping for situations to work out. We know what teams need to lose, what teams need to win. So we're definitely pulling for certain teams. <laughs> New UK assistant coach Lynn Dunn introduced to the media earlier this week, and by all accounts, she is a wealth of basketball knowledge and just as entertaining. Dunn joins associate coach Kyra Elsey and assistant Nia Butts on Matthew Mitchell's new staff. Dunn says Elsey and Butts will handle the bulk of the recruiting. She will remain in town to greet incoming recruits. I know I'll be really involved uh, on campus when they bring the players on campus uh, for, for the official visits. I'll, I'll be doing phone, phone work and uh, emails and texts, that type of stuff. I don't, I can see them out, you know, chasing the young kids all over and, and I'm, somebody's back here, you know, keep holding the fort down. And, and that's a trust factor. He, he knows he can leave and I could still be here. And Ole Miss releasing its response to NCAA allegations and detailing its self-imposed penalties earlier today. The university admitted that a player's former stepfather was paid $800 by a booster in August of 2014. There are 13 allegations against the football team involving three assistants who are on the staff now. Two assistants who worked under Houston Nutt are charged with misconduct in connection with the ACT exam of three prospects. Ole Miss's self-imposed penalties include losing 14 scholarships over four years. And as for the new allegations that emerged on draft night, the night of the NFL draft, Ole Miss asked for more time there. Coming up in the next half hour, the latest on Marcus Lee. Stay with us.